All right, this is Matt Earl, uh with Talking in Stations. We're going to try to bring you some live coverage here. As it happens, there's a legit breakout attempt. What happened? My There we go. Legit um, breakout attempt happening in M2. Let's go have a look at that. Try to get a camera into use uh, as soon as we can. It's going to take a few minutes. Right now, I believe that everybody in M2 is already logging in on the Pappy side of things. I think right now probably you're seeing a scramble from the Imperium trying to get there. Closing down some channels. All right, let's see what I can do here. Yeah, these are gonna be the supers from the armor timer that um, were the ones that were severely trapped over like 300 of those. Okay, let's plot a course. We probably won't make it, but uh, we're gonna try to get you to the action. I'll give you updates as I get them. I should be getting information coming through. Okay, jump in. Try to get you a camera now. Hello, killer. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. Wow, it's terrific. Great view. This is happening now in M2. Uh, okay, so you notice these titans are actually bubbled all the hell at the bottom there. All that gray area that you can see is um, those are bubbles meant to tackle. Make an adjustment here. And uh, what this tells us is the the actual uh, logged in Titans appear to be coming into that area now. So I'm wondering if you can't zoom in just a little bit. Oh, that's a beautiful view. I can't tell if the Titans above are... Oh, those are doomsdays going off. Okay, so the Titans that we're seeing there on the right-hand side, I believe those are Pappy Titans that are logged back in. They appear to be taking doomsdays. Let me get a closer look here. Now that is a nice, nice shot. All right, I'll get you the information I can. You can see one, actually, at least one just got out right there. Anytime you see a long orange streak, that is a jumping out animation. Uh, the weaponry that you're seeing coming from above there appears to be doomsdays coming from the Keepstar. All the Titans that we're seeing on the forefield, those are Pappy Titans. Those are the ones that are trying to get out. They're going to lose a bunch of those. Uh, there's no way they can just uh, get out without a cost. So the idea is to take that burden, take that cost all at once uh, instead of trickling them in. Now you can see Doomsday's firing from above at the top of the screen there. More supers are actually coming in to augment top Pappy, and that is uh, something that they are going to need to do because uh, when the Imperium off the Keepstar strike, they are vulnerable. And they can only be made to pay a price when, <clears throat> when there's enough firepower from the Pappy side of things. And they may not have that. Here we go. Thanks for the adjustment.
All right. That's that's good. Um wow. You have a beautiful screen, my friend. <laughs> All right. So what Pappy need to do is they need to get more Titans in, not less. So they logged everything in at once. And now they have ships that have the potential to fire back. And uh, this becomes uh, a risk for the Imperium. They can't have just the offense. Sure. Exactly. That's why you're bring, they're bringing in new uh, Titans into this fight. Those are, I think, the ones that we're logging in on the left side of the screen. I think. That's some of the information that I'm hearing, but we'll see. It's actually more supers, not necessarily Titans, so we'll see. All right. Thanks for providing this screen. Is, it, is there any chance you could zoom in a little bit more, or is it... Uh, is it too difficult? That's a beautiful shot you have, though. Whoa, that is a Titan explosion there. Two Titans down so far, according to a source on the Pappy side of things. I expect they'll lose uh, 20, 30 uh, at least. All right, for those of you just joining us, uh, this is matter all being provided. Uh, a look at M2, a breakout attempt. This is the breakout attempt. This is the first one we've seen where everything is being logged in at once. Uh, we've seen some testing happening over the last week or two. Uh, these things got trapped. Wow, actually, it's been since uh, January 2nd. Uh, this is the first time that everything is logged in all at once. So this is the breakout attempt. Uh, what you are seeing there at this range, uh, you can really only see doomsday. So those are uh, huge. Oh, we have some stuff logging in there at the top uh, near the keep star. That would be Imperium stuff. All right, and that looks like stuff coming in rather than leaving, but we'll have a look. It's coming in. Nope, that's leaving, so it's on its way out. That's uh, at least one ship they got out, one more ship they got out. That's an explosion, but that looks right now like a capital explosion rather than a a super capital explosion. On the right-hand side, you can see is it, it's a little grainy right now, but it looks like some dreadnoughts are coming in, something smaller. They could be repair ships, not sure. This looks like another ship getting out there. Two doomsdays going off from Imperium, it looks like. Uh, I'll try to get information on how many have made it out so far and how many have been destroyed. We have two Titans confirmed destroyed uh, so far. Expect many more than that. Let me grab some more inf intel here. Yeah, Titans that have logged in, uh, the Titans that we're looking at, the majority of them there at the bottom are Happy Titans. Uh, at the top, you can see the lower end of the Keep Star. It's all lit up just now. Uh, that looks like, that actually looks like an explosion near the Keep Star. That would be something. Can't confirm anything. And those two Doomsdays appear to be... Um, it's hard to tell at this range what where Pappy ends and where Imperium begins. Imperium will be near the top for sure. 
probably uh, close to that keep star, and then Pappy's floating in the middle of these bubbles there at the bottom. Uh, you're seeing a Galente Doomsday. That's the green one there. Yeah, they're they're really close range. Now th those Doomsdays are three hundred, uh, three hundred thousand kilometers, I think. Um, is it 300 kilometers? Right. Yeah. I, I get that. 300,000 meters, right? 300,000, 300 kilometers. Uh, so they're all within range of one another. All right. Goonswarm Sinoed in a ton of bubbles and they are bubbling the heck out of this fleet. Uh, right now, everybody's concentrating on what they're doing. So we're not able to get a whole lot of uh, intel, but we'll try to get what we can. Uh, this is going to be a heated fight, and this should go on for a little while. They are nice and stuck right now. They're all on field. A lot of those are weak uh, from capacitor drainage uh, that they logged out from. Some of them might have prepared. Downtime, yeah. Yes, I was going to say that. So of the group that's there, some of them have been taken the time, remember this is uh, almost a month now, it's three weeks, uh, to cap up right before downtime. Whoa, we're seeing two, three, let's see how many more, four, five, more ships getting out. There is a lot to go though. Five, there's a fifth one coming out now. You can see that little orange glow. Oh, that is a Titan destroyed. That. Sure. Thank you. Well, we appreciate this so far. Thank you. Oh, that was five, now eight. Uh, there's another little ship that uh, got out there too. I won't count that, but that's at least eight uh, large ships have gotten out that we've seen in the last few seconds. Doomsdays are still going off. And uh, we did see one explosion just a few seconds ago, which would mark possibly the third Titan destroyed. We're estimating that's not a confirmed number. Uh, the dreadnoughts right now that uh, came in to help out, if, if those were the ones that came in, are shredded. So they're taking a ton of abuse probably from conventional. We have two more large ships at the bottom there, those orange glows. There they go, two more out. Titans destroyed. Titans destroyed. Oh wow. Okay. So they are fighting back. They're not just trying to escape. All right. Okay, good. We have a G scan coming up. Uh, let's see, I'll put that on screen. Uh, here's a quick look at D-Scan. We'll see what's on the field. Uh, Titans that are in, 329. That's all Titans, so uh, that is both Imperium and... Unless this is... Well, this is one minute ago, so that's all the Titans there. And uh, a lot of hacks, which we would expect. Those are fast. Those will be removing bubbles. Uh, they'll be giving options to the bigger ships. And Super Carriers 293, I imagine a lot of that, well, that's probably split between uh, Pappy and uh, Swarm. 259. So that's what's going on. Let's bring the camera back here in just a second. We're seeing a bunch get out there. There's like four that just got out. Okay.
Got it. Uh, are they using dreadnoughts? Is that what they're using to uh, to try to take down some of these? Uh, oh, thanks for the, yeah, okay, great. Thanks for that zoom in. Um, those definitely look like uh, dreadnoughts. Mm-hmm. Right. And they are taking abuse, though. Those dreads that are coming in are getting cleaned out really fast. We're seeing, uh, we saw three, it looks like three uh, other ships escaped. And we see three or four lighting up. That looks like uh, anywhere from three to six. Uh, we imagine those are Titans that are making their exit. Yeah. Right. Those round circles that you see that then blur out, um, in, they streak and blur out, those are Titans jumping out. So anything that is streaking out of frame is leaving this grid. And the whole idea is for those Titans to get out. Uh, you can see an explosion there on the left that yellow light is uh, probably a capital ship, probably a dreadnought that just exploded. Those dreadnoughts are getting shredded from what I hear. And uh, the Titans are making exits. So the dreadnoughts are probably, as you said, uh, removing bubbles uh, as quickly as possible. I think this is what they were practicing a couple days ago when they had dreads in there. They were timing how fast dreads could destroy bubbles. And this is probably strategic. So they're destroying bubbles. Oh, we have another Titan coming in here on the left. Looks like an avatar approaching. It's probably late to this party. Probably this is very strategic and they know where in space they're logged off. They would have been testing that over the last three weeks. That is a doomsday being fired, I believe, from above. I, yeah, Lance is a doomsday, isn't it? I I understand there are like four flavors of Doomsday, and a lance is one of those. But it it is thicker, so that's a lance. Um, we'll we'll leave it there. Uh, I can't. I, th th is that being fired up into the Imperium? Oh, or yeah, I can't tell. Maybe it's uh. May, a lance is, is it f five kilometers in width? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and cones. Yeah, there's another lance going off. Now, the reason they're using lances might be to get more than one uh, capital at a time when they're aimed at like dreadnoughts and stuff. So it's because it is a cylinder of damage and everything inside of it takes damage. Okay. Um, goons are using target doomsday focusing on dreads. Okay, so that might be what we're seeing that uh, is aimed at dreads there. And you would use a lance to try to get more than one instead of single target uh, destruction. A uh, ton of bombers, a uh, ton of torpedo bombers. Uh, torpedo bombers are being used in here. I don't know where. We're just hearing that they are, and that makes sense for larger ships. Uh, torpedoes do a lot of uh, damage to larger ships. They're much better against those than they are uh, smaller ships. Two more Pappy Titans making an exit, it looks like. You see that orange glow? It will streak out. There you go. Got a couple lances still going. We don't know which direction there are, but we know Titans are dying on both sides. Uh, four Titans from Pappy are down, two from the Imperium. Is that right, Killer? That looks like another Titan that's just dying.
Oh, there, now you can see the keep star in frame. That is the structure above. Uh, okay, so for those of us, for those of you that are just joining us now, uh, we are watching a breakout attempt. This is the breakout attempt for Pappy trying to make their exit from the M2 uh, system that is in Delve. They had hundreds, it looks like, hundreds of Titans trapped underneath the Keepstar. The Titans that are trying to prevent them are directly under the Keepstar, and they are firing down into that pool of ships down below. They are very, very close to each other and well within range. Lots of exits happening there. I think that was like three, four. It's a little hard. It might be lag, but uh, it looked like that might have been four or five. Remember, there are hundreds, so this is going to be... Um, this is going to take a few minutes. Although it's kind of going fast. Yeah, looking at... We saw a couple lance just a few minutes ago. That looks like a new lance uh, all the way up at the top, probably from a Titan on, on top of the Keep Star. Those would be the ones firing there within the safest distance. And you see another lance. Uh, looks like it's fired off on the right-hand side there as more ships make an exit. I'm going to try to zoom in. I can't zoom in because I'm using a certain uh, technique. I don't think I can. Yeah, so you're in full control of the camera. I can't zoom in on this, but it's fine. There you go. All right. Uh, my partner Elise is here to help us with some of the information. He has intel as well. How are you doing, Elise? I don't know if he's able to talk. He may not be. I'm sure it's past his bedtime. He's on the East Coast. Oops, doxed. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, this is incredibly visual. There's a lot of doomsdays going off. A lot of everything's going off. You can see the dreads down there getting rained on. What can you tell us about what's going on? and more eels. Right.
Yeah. Right. And what you've seen an exchange, what it looks like an exchange of doomsdays, is that an illusion? Is it just Imperium doing the doomsdaying? Or are they, because they've lost some Titans too, I've heard. Are they getting doomsday as well? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 141 Pappy Dreads destroyed already. We're seeing in uh, EVE Online chat on Talking in Station Discord. And uh, from what I heard earlier, those the Dreads are paying a price for being the, the counter. Yeah, let's have a quick look at Dotland. There are hundreds of Titans, or were hundreds of Titans out here. We did a descan earlier. Actually, we received a descan from a friend. Uh, over 320 Titans. We've seen a few of them leave, but there's still a lot on this field. Yeah, I'm taking a look now. We have, uh, yeah, this is the, I believe this is the theater here. We have uh, a fraternity, super down, uh, test Titan down, three Ragnaroks from Goon Swarm, and a Nyx from Goon Swarm as well. Catch up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks. Let me know. I can always switch cams. There we go. Wow. Look at those lasers. Let's see three more ships making their exits. Fourth one spooling up, take off, followed by two others. We assume those are supers and titans that are leaving.
Yeah. Right. Well, Yeah, this is, uh, it's, I expected more carnage out of Pappy, but we're not, we're not seeing the killboards yet. So there may be still, uh, mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. You'll, you'll crash yourself. We'll, we'll, we'll find out as we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, can you zoom in just a bit uh, towards the keep star? About 20%. And, uh, and uh, tilt up if you can. All right, you can back out just a little bit. A little bit more. There. <laughs> I believe we're upside down. Let's Okay, thank you. Wow. Uh, yeah. That is, as you said, a good trade for getting some. And this is, I mean, the lower half of the of this system, the uh, the the ones that are escaping now. Those are the ones that were uh, severely trapped, I imagine. Yeah, they're probably sieged. Yeah, can you scroll? Can you move the camera down a bit so we can see what those ships are shooting? Uh, bottom left there. Thanks. I, I really appreciate the the view. Oh. Okay, something's getting massacred. Uh, Sorry, Elise, you were saying those dreads are probably siege green, which means they're not to leave the field. They're not making any plans to escape. They will stay green and sieged and fight until they die. Right. 
Right. No free lunch. Mm -hmm. So we saw a lot on Dscan, we saw a lot of uh, hacks, heavy assault cruisers. Are those the ones clearing bubbles or who's clearing the bubbles at this point? Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Well, the... No, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say the nightmares are battleships or faction battleships. They're kind of known as glass cannons, so they have uh, quite a volley. Uh, they probably can clear things fast. But those would also be possibly uh sacrificial ships because they don't have a very strong tank unless the unless they've changed in the last few years that's true How how far up are Pappy Titans? Because I see a big group right underneath that Keep Star, and I can't. I mean, that's them, isn't it? That's the fleet. Wow. And so, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like it did. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm.
If they jump in, they have thirty. They have thirty seconds. They can dock up right away too. Uh, but are the are the, uh, the the titans that we're seeing there that are almost free of most bubbles? They're all going to leave. They're going to try to leave together, right? They're not going to, um, or will they just try to get out when they can? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just wondered if they were if it was kind of like a standoff, but uh, the the dreads are doing the counter attacks if necessary. The Titans' job is just to get out, right? Whoa. All right, I'll see if I can get Dunk to come in and tell us what's going on. He may still be busy trying to help out, uh, but uh, we'll see if we can't rope him into coming out here. I'm gonna check out. We're going to take a look at his... Go ahead. Yeah, OPSEC. You're with the Imperium, right? Uh, all right, all right, don't don't get mad. <laughs> What's that? Okay, thanks, Evan. We'll take a look when you can. Dunk Dinkle's here with us. How you doing, Dunk? You just got out. How stressful was it? Well, congrats. Yeah, are you actually an M2 already? Is that where you're going to wake up? Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. All right, guys, let's uh, clear the comms for a second. Let Dunk talk uh, since he was just there and got out. You were saying, Dunk? What do you think of that, Elise? I mean, you mentioned before it looks like they might have caught uh, the Imperium off guard, which is not unusual because it's been a number of days. It's been like three weeks.
Whoa, well, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's very surprising. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, let, let's let's let Dunk finish his uh, thoughts since he's on the field. Uh, go ahead, Dunk. You were saying a lot of people are getting out, so this looks like it's. Um, this is, uh, yeah, well, th this is unusual. Let me turn your attention to the screen. Now we have what looks like a Ragnarok from Goon Swarm that was actually destroyed by, uh, some members of Goon Swarm as well. Don't know if that's an error in reporting uh, or if there was a friendly fire mishap. Be interesting to check that out. All right. I see. So they're just on there, but uh, that's because they nicked their friend, but their friend was actually taken down by a uh, test. Oh, so they had the wrong doomsday loaded. Go ahead. Dunk, thanks. Appreciate it. Congratulations getting out. Yeah.
Right. So this is a little bit grave. I did expect a lot more. I estimated there would be 10 to 20 Titans dead, and uh, it's just not going the way I thought it was going to go. <laughs> uh, do we do we sorry Sorry, do we have a count on casualties for Titans? Did you want to give me a fresh count and I'll put that up on the board? Okay, thanks. Total, but how many Imperium, how many Pappy if you can? I don't know if you can do that. Sorry. All right, we'll put that down for a placeholder, but this is just a placeholder for those watching. We'll try to get the stats up, and there you go. All right, uh, for those that have joined us uh, in the last few minutes, what you're seeing is a breakout attempt from the consolidated forces of Pappy that are breaking out of the M2 Tech XFE system in Delve. They've been trapped here since January 2nd. Actually, these have been trapped here since 
uh, December 30th. And uh, they are now trying to find their way out. They are being aggressed uh, on their way out by the Imperium, which is in control of that space station you see at the center of the screen. And they are firing down on uh, the fleet that is trying to extract. The fleet that's trying to extract Pappy has countered with dreadnoughts they brought in to uh, take advantage of any vulnerable ships that uh, are using their doomsday devices uh, up there near the tower. Uh, in order to use a doomsday device, they must become vulnerable. In other words, the station cannot protect them with a tether, and that allows them to be shot at, and so that's what those dreads are for. The counter-counter move is the uh, Imperium forces on that tower are shooting the dreads and uh, just massacring them, which was expected, but it is a price to pay in order to get these larger ships, these Titans, out of this system. Right. So it's kind of like a f four to six. Yeah. Yeah, let me just clear that up to make sure. So the lower number wins in this case. <laughs> you want the lower number. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Um, Pappy, why would they use savers, savers and what kind of defensive uh, formation would they have? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, totally. Whoops, yeah. Sorry, whoops. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're impersonators. Uh, what do they call it these days? Super sketch? No. Sus, yeah, sus. Sus. Yeah. Can. Let's uh let's take 
let's take a look at your camera here. We're going to switch over to Avon for a second. Um, oh, yeah. Oof, yeah. Let's move that over here. They rescued Dunk, yeah. Like, Dunk is Private Ryan. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think they logged stuff. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> He's going to make it out. Look at that. <laughs> go, 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 go. Well, now now that he's on TV waving at his mom, he's going to get uh nailed. All right, sig sig signal lost. Oh, he's inches away. But that's going to take a while. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's got some blues pushing him from behind, it looks like. Oh, well, he's getting nibbled at then. Looks like he's clearing. Let's have a look here. Uh, 
I'm a- I'm asking, but uh, I already got your answer. <laughs> yeah it's like uh, throwing a bottle at a car that's zooming off that's um it's, it's I'm, I'm really impressed uh, with pappy uh that this is not bloodier for them than i thought it would be This is the one, yeah. Right. Oof. That's a lot. Yeah. Right. To to hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on, Killer. Please. The uh, I would like to hear from um, Elise on the answer to that question. What would you have thought would be a um, like a fair price to pay for getting out? This extraction. Yeah. Okay, make that adjustment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. All right. We assume a couple a couple wrecks were destroyed. Uh, so about it's going to come out to about four hundred four hundred fifty dreadnoughts destroyed. That got out, yeah. But uh, we're talking about the casualties, what the what the price was that was paid. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. wait hold on a second uh, hold on hold on i want to drill down on that last point to so talk about that as a tactic avon All right. All right. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Hold on, Killer. Uh, hold on, Killer. Gotta let Elise and I kind of take the primary role when we do these things. Let us get most of the talking times. We have to bring people up to speed uh, that are in the audience that are just joining us. But I'm going to yield quickly to Elise, who is about to say something. Go ahead.
Uh, another here's another question from the audience, and I, I I want to throw this to Elise again. He's a got a wealth of history. Is this the biggest dread bomb in the game's history? Do you want to address that? Yeah. Yeah. All All right. The uh, all right. Just to put uh, put a point on it, uh, dreads die all the time in big numbers and have in the past. I also remember a fight between NC Dot and IT Alliance. If you can imagine, IT Alliance being a Bob uh, Reformation. So uh, right now, those groups are merged into one. They're all NC Dot now, but at a time they were separated. And that fight, I think, was two hundred dreads. Uh, uh, easy. So dreads do die in big numbers, and you saw a lot of them die, I think, in early October when you saw them go up against a Keepstar that was planting. Uh, Imperium dreads were dying to the Pappy Keepstar. They they got the victory, the Imperium did, but they paid a big price in dreadnoughts. So for those that are just uh, catching up, we're seeing kind of the cleanup now of uh, System M2 Tac X where ha some of Pappy forces have extracted. This was the breakout that they've been wanting. It appears that it was highly successful in that the Titan trades were just about even at the Imperium losing five, Pappy losing six, and hundred, over, 100, over 100, 150 Titans extracting from this area. That is the lower part of the Keepstar. Of course, the price paid by Pappy were in dreads that were uh, moved into position to free fire on any Titan that was doomsdaying uh, the Pappy Titans on its way out. So those dreads were uh, destroyed and are being destroyed to the tune of 400 dreads. Uh, one of
Do you, at least, do you feel that that is uh, a function of the attackers have more people, but the defenders have the defensive advantage? Does that play into it? Yeah, which kind of makes it the war that it is now, where there's a lot of commitment on both sides, which means casualties go way up. And overall, you're seeing much more destruction now than you were at the beginning of this war. <laughs> All right, um want to thank uh, Avon for the camera work that we saw just a few minutes ago and Killer for the current shot that we have up now and had early. Thank you guys for providing visuals into this. Uh, it allows us to uh, actually broadcast in a, in a better way. I uh, also want to introduce uh, Gregorin, who's part of TIS. Gregorin, were you in this fight? Yeah, or were you aware of it? <laughs> That's a great name for a corporation, Dead Dreadnought. Um, all right, what was it like? What was the plan? Now that it's over, can you talk about it? Now that the op, op is over, more or less, what was, the, what was the plan? Or what was it like going into this battle zone? Do you have an opinion? Are you allowed to talk about it? Are you checking with your superiors? Was there prep were were there preparations? Okay, were there preparations made beforehand? Like did they say everybody, like a week ago, everybody get into a, a, a dreadnought and stay in it? Or was there anything like that? Okay, well we'll just Okay. I got you.
All right, everyone, your sound your sound is going there. So I might want to check things. Go ahead, Elise. <laughs> okay no no one will uh by the way we just uh, are reading there in chat that the uh it's actually Imperium six Titan losses to Pappy five on the kill boards. I changed it in hopes that that's correct. I will actually double check now, but uh, I assume that's more accurate than what we were doing counting Rex. Um, not more accurate, but just updated. <laughs> Cheeky Titan death. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Let's uh, switch switch cams real quick and have a look if you zoom in. If you're going to go look for them, no, it's okay. Uh, kill mail still coming in. It'd be funny if he's still there. Oh no, there's a destroy poor guy. Uh no it Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. 
Got it. Yeah. Well, uh, right. It's Private Ryan in this case. Uh, let me go through some of the uh, corporations that lost Titans in this case. And these are all from the Pappy side of things. Uh, Van Diemen's Demise, they're out of Northern Coalition. VDD, they're on Australian Corporation. Uh, Moose Army from Test Alliance lost to Leviathan. Uh, Alcoholicost from Test Alliance and Leviathan. And Black Omega Security. Lost to Ragnarok. And uh, from the other side of the field in the Imperium, corporations that lost Titans were Amok. Uh, they lost a Ragnarok. And uh, permit me a few seconds because these are, there are a lot of Titans on. Actually, those are the only ones listed. Yeah, that's all I have on this battle report, so it must be broken up. Again, these stats won't really be official till much later, a few days after uh, this all catches up. But uh, those are some of the Titans. Yeah. Yeah, the dreads are... Yeah. Shikes. Mm -hmm. All right, don't be offended by the title of this stream. We started it when it was an attempt. Uh, we're still streaming now that it is a success. It changes the name of the event, but we can't change our title in the middle. It won't actually update for people who are already watching. Uh, we have had various attempts, and we've covered various attempts over the last, uh, what, 20 days, 21 days, three weeks? Uh, and this was the most significant and clearly the most effective. This was the breakout attempt. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. Uh, celebrity kill mail, I suppose. Well, I mean, you know, we're all worse for it because uh, him not streaming during the day, EVE Online, has diminished EVE Online's numbers dramatically. And we were talking about that yesterday uh, with Vili, that we're, you know, EVE Online in general is poorer for Ron not streaming the war on a daily basis. So, congrats. Now we have 20 people streaming Eve instead of hundreds, or uh, 20 people watching Eve instead of hundreds. Yeah.
No, he's not a main commander. He's a he's a he's he's definitely a commander, but he's not uh necess- he's not like a what you would consider a block level uh commander. Yeah. Well, oh, what's what's leaving the system now? We see a lot of things leaving. Is that Imperium? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is is he the one with the uh the horn whatever it was that uh <laughs> i remember that song um Well, I mean, this this definitely was. You could say, okay, if two people are fighting and one is bigger than the other, the smaller one is taking steps back and waiting for that moment. And M2 seemed to be that moment. And then they, you know, take a swing at the big guy and catch him off guard. And that's what happened. And uh, and it stunned Pappy. I think everybody can agree that they were stunned. Villy admits it freely. And I'm sure other FCs and just the behavior of the groups will tell you that that's what happened. So that is, you could say like, hey, we're on defense here, you know? So of course we're going to back up. These guys bring twice as many as we have. We can't win those fights until this. And uh, and then, it, you know, now we see what happens because the big guy uh, appears to be getting up off the floor a little bit. So something like that. Yeah, Helm's Deep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,
Hmm. All right. Well, we're glad you're back and enjoying this war. Yes, it's all being served up uh, to you, and that's great because we like watching you guys fight on both sides. Um, I just want to wrap up this uh, stream before it gets too late. We have people out of bed that should be in bed. Um, and I uh, just want to get you caught up on what happened here. This is the cleanup effort now, uh, as you see on the Keepstar Imperium going back to 1DQ. Uh, the battle is over, and it was what we should fairly say was a success for Pappy. They extracted over 100 Titans from this field while only losing six, but also taking six of Imperium's Titans in the process with Dreadnoughts. Those Dreadnoughts, though, were sacrificed uh, to the tune, and maybe uh, three, three to four hundred um, Dreadnoughts were destroyed. Or some of them may be trapped. We saw a ping from Billy came out and said that they'll worry about the Dreadnoughts later. That might be replacing them, or that might be that they're stuck as well. And that is a very, very good price to pay for getting out over 100 Titans. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Well, Vili, we just we, we just quoted you, but here you are. Okay, so it was about uh, replacing the dreads, not okay. Do you have numbers? Like, how many did you get out today? Well, all right. Um, Op success. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody stop talking. This is just Vili now, because we have the one of the commanders here. Op success, Vili? Yeah. Uh, so happy with the results, although he did lose a lot of dreads. I think that looks like a pretty fair price to pay for uh, getting out all those Titans. How, how important is it now uh, to get out the Titans that are still left in system if there are Titans still left above the Keepstar? Yeah.
Uh, so for Vili, what what's next uh, for you guys? What are the next uh, strategic ops that you're going to be doing? <laughs> Right. Yeah, um, Walking Orange there says, and I don't know how accurate it is, I assume it's correct. The battle report so far says two trillion lost on Pappy's side. Again, that battle report will adjust as more data gets surfaced from uh, an overwhelmed kill board. Uh, so we'll see tomorrow or next time. Yeah. 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 Right. Wow. So uh, real quick, again. Hold on. All right, so just for just as a review uh, and maybe even a clip, what actually what was the tactic used here, and how did you pull this off? Yeah, uh, that's a nice uh, Sino trick. I didn't think about that. All right. Well, that was, um, and and the the previous days and weeks. Uh, what were you doing to get to this point? Yeah. With. Right.
Well, usually when they usually when they give you rope, you're hanging yourself. But uh, I, I know what you mean. They kept giving you room, and you kept taking it. Wow. Well, all that work and patience and uh, day after day of uh, preparations it looks like it's a very successful op for you guys. Uh, you did lose uh, two trillion, I guess, mostly in dreads, but uh, still could have been a lot worse. I expected when this started that there might be uh, uh, 10, maybe even 20 Titans destroyed. Nowhere near that. It looks like five official uh, we heard six, but anyway, it's going to settle in around there. Titans destroyed uh, five or six, a very, very small number, surprisingly small. Well, you had the advantage of being in close range because uh, uh, I guess the, the Titans were actually, what were the Titans for the Imperium? Were they up near the Keepstar or were they actually low, close to you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, puts them at close range, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and the reason I asked is they were within very close proximity to uh, the Titans. So when the Dreads came in, they were uh, they were close range. So. Hmm. Well, Billy, thanks. Billy, uh, you know, you came here and talked to us after M2 went sideways because of the server overloads. Uh, and we appreciate you coming back after this fight as well. Uh, is there anything else that you want to say or uh, to your guys or to? Or? Well, data points. Yeah. Well, you, you you sound much happier than you did the other day, I guess. When uh... <laughs> wow.
Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, listen. Good. I, I thought you were going to say it was kind of a decoy because there you are relaxing on Trash Talk Tuesday and everybody's like, well, nothing's happening tonight because Billy's doing a talk show. So, huh. Yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah. How how many how many people knew about this plan? Like how secretive was it? Because this is very sensitive. Really. But to know that this is the one, like this is the actual push where everything logs in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good sir, Billy. <laughs>
All right. All right, guys. Uh, thanks um, for coming and uh, being a part of all this, lending us your uh, eyesight there, the camera. I appreciate that. Um, just want to recap real quick. Uh, looks like Pappy got, uh, what did you say, Billy? Was it a 150 to 200 Titans? Won't give us a specific number, understandable, but may not, may not know it. Mm -hmm. all right well at least more than 140 <laughs> yeah okay good so uh yeah so let's say it's uh, 140 plus uh we have here that goblin says 120 150 so right around 150 let's say whatever number is high okay 
Anyway, a lot of ships were able to extract. The operation uh, was uh, pretty much a success with the note that uh, many, many dreads died to free those titans. Uh, but all around, uh, everybody's happy on the pappy side. And hopefully, Vili can get some sleep. Yeah, good. Hopefully, Vili can get some sleep after having the shakes for the first time in a long time playing EVE Online. Uh, thanks again, Vili, for coming by. Appreciate it. Yeah, unexpected. Glad we got there. That was thanks to Elise, who gave me a heads up that something was going down, that I should check the channels. I did. Uh, we were able to get cameras thanks to uh, Killer and also Avon here. Thank you for your help. We will get other cameras into place in case other things happen. And uh, congratulations to Vili and Pappy uh, for um, getting their Titans out. This war is in a new phase. It's definitely into the grind phase, maybe not the cataclysmic collision uh, phase anymore. So we'll see. We'll, we'll look at what goes on with iHubs in the, in the region. Okay, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. Uh, oh, you got a picture? Let's have it. All right, guys. Just a... <laughs> A little bit of propaganda, I guess. Let's uh, put that up on screen here in just a second. Yeah. Yeah, he, he seemed very relieved, I think, is what uh, his voice sounded like. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys. Uh, thanks very much. We'll be back tomorrow. Maybe we'll have Billy on to kind of, after he decompresses, can tell us uh, how many actual uh, titans got out until then uh that is all for us we will see you next time on uh, talking in stations live coverage thanks everybody <laughs>